top five. Top five. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Toma and we talk all things beauty and skincare. In this video, we'll be going over our top five spring slash summer fragrances. And y'all, I have so many good smells for y'all. You're just gonna die. You're gonna die. Let's get right into this video. My number one spring fragrance that I wear every single day. And as you can tell from the bottle, it's empty, like it's gone. I need to get another one and I've been looking, but I need TJ Maxx and Marshalls to come on and re-up because I'm not paying full price. So my go-to fragrance is the Dulce and Cabana, the light blue, and this is the Toilette. This fragrance is very lightweight, it's fresh, citrus. The notes are bellflower, lemon, cedar, apple, jasmine, bamboo, white rose, cedar, amber, and musk. Like I grew up with my aunt using this fragrance and I fell in love with this fragrance and I always find myself buying it. Like I love this fragrance. It's forever gonna be in my collection. If you just want that light citrus airy smell, for like a, a nice summer day, this is this is it. She is this girl. She is that girl. Like I wear this fragrance to work every day in the summertime because it's affordable. You can get it at TJ Maxx, you can get it at Marshalls, you can get it at Walmart and even Walgreens, or you can get it at fragrancenet.com with a coupon. I always purchase mine from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So I'm gonna be looking for another bottle the next time I go to TJ Maxx. The scent doesn't last all day. It's not a long lasting scent, but you can layer this with a perfume oil to get a longer lasting scent. I'm okay with it not lasting all day because this is a toilet, but just a, the, just the citrus and the light fresh smell, I fall in love with this every time. My next spring slash summer smell, I told you guys about this fragrance. This fragrance gives you rich auntie vibes. If you're just trying to smell rich, elegant, this is what you need. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc E de Parfum. And I got this perfume last year. Now I'm a little light on using this perfume because it's expensive, y'all. This perfume, I want to say is probably $225 or $250 but it's in the 200s and it's a little pricey. If I'm going somewhere elegant during the day, I would definitely use this perfume. I don't use it at night all the time during the summer, but I may start using this, but definitely brunch vibes, rich girl vibes, rich auntie vibes. And let me tell y'all the notes. And you can get this perfume during the Sephora sale. Sephora sale is April 14th to Hmm, I want to say it's seven days, it's a week. So you can definitely get this perfume and get 20% off. So the notes are tuberose, lang lang, amber, coconut. I definitely smell that coconut. I love the smell of coconut and tonka bean. Like this is my favorite fragrance from Tom Ford. And I think this is the only fragrance from Tom Ford that I like and I'm going to continue to buy. Definitely a summer spring scent. I never wear this in the winter because it's very light. And if you want this to last, this actually lasts because I remember I had used this one time when I went to brunch and I sprayed a whole lot on my blazer. And another time when I picked that same blazer up to wear, I still smelled her. I was like, damn, I didn't think it lasts that long. But yeah, this actually lasts. You can also layer it with a uh, perfume oil um, that has some coconut in it to make it last a little longer or have a little stronger smell. The next spring scent that I find myself going to, y'all, I used to use this perfume all the time in college and I stopped using it and I don't know why. And since spring is right around the corner, like, so I live in a DMV area and like this entire week we're in the 70s and 80s and spring is right around the area and I was looking to build my spring fragrance collection 
because I feel like a lot of my fragrances are fall smell and I only had like two fragrance for summer slash spring. So I had to re-up on this and I was like, why trying to figure out why did I stop using this perfume in the first place? And if y'all want to know what I'm talking about, this is the Gucci Guilty perfume. And y'all look how cute and small this bottle is. I'm a little mad that this bottle is small. This is a one floor ounce and I got it on sale from Macy's for $62. Um, I am a little salty that the bottle is very small, very small. But I love the fragrance. The smell is very light. This is also a toilet. As you can see, the trend for spring and summer is going to be toilets, which I don't mind because you don't want something too strong when it's hot and humid. You don't want something too strong unless you're going on a hot date. This is more of a daytime and I think you can wear it. You can wear it at night. You can definitely wear it at night, pair with the perfume oil to have it last a little longer. And the notes are bergamot, lilac, rose, amber, and the last note is patchouli. I find myself turning to fragrances that have bergamot and patchouli and vanilla. Y'all know I'm a vanilla girl. I'm a nude girl. I like nude. I like a whole nude look. Natural, that's all me. So this is definitely going to be in my spring and summer rotation. The next fragrance, I have told you guys about this fragrance before and let me just say this so this fragrance is on the pricey side i think i think i paid i got the smaller bottle and i paid i got 15 percent off and i paid around 119 and it is from mason francis kirk dijon paris and this is the gentle fluidity and in the gold on the website this fragrance pops up as gold like the color looks gold but in person it's actually like a slight pink and purple so i'll show you what i'm talking about so i was a little confused because on the website it says gold and it was clear when i bought it but when i when the fragrance was delivered it was purple so don't be alarmed it still smells good and this will definitely be a spring scent of mine and the notes are Juniberries, nutmeg, musk, ambery woods, and vanilla. Y'all know I love vanilla. And I would do this for like a date night with Bay and keep it at that. Because this fragrance is a little pricey and we don't want to spray too much. You know, we got to preserve a little bit for next year. I haven't smelled it in a while since my last video. And when I smelled this on my friend, like I told y'all, one of my girlfriends, she smelled good, okay? You definitely smell the berries and the amber, and I just love that for me. I love that. Mm. And I'm spraying it here because I sprayed something here earlier. I can't remember what I sprayed on my forearm, but this just smells luscious. Last but not least is from Glossier, and it is their You Perfume, and this is a new perfume in my collection um new meaning i've had this for a few months i want to say maybe four months and this was also a recommendation from my girlfriend she like just knows all the good smells and i can always count on her for a good recommendation and this fragrance is about i want to say 64 dollars when i bought it i bought it from the brand website glossier but now sephora carries their brand so if you're planning on getting this perfume i will highly recommend getting it during the sale so you can get the 20 percent off this perfume falls under the warm and spicy family and it has the notes has pink pepper iris and ambrox which reminds me of one of my other perfume, the Ambrox. The Tom Ford perfume is also a unisex perfume, but I like it for the girlies better. Like, leave that to us. This is also a unisex perfume, but I like it for us too. Like, can we just can we just keep it to ourselves and not share? We're not we're not sharing, guys. We're not sharing. So, <laughs> this is a perfume I find myself wearing to work because it is so lightweight and it's not overpowering. When you work in an office with other people and especially a lot of older people, um 
sometimes they have allergies and they can be sensitive to perfume smells. So I'm always cautious about the fragrance that I wear to work and I always wear a lightweight, a fresh fragrance. So I'm just gonna spray this on my hand and just give you what I'm smelling. Yeah, I definitely smell the pink pepper. I will also wear this before a nice workout because it's a little inex inexpensive, like the light blue, and it's very light, and it's very cute. It's a cute little smell. This is something you can wear to work. You can spray a little bit before a nice little workout, or even a grocery store run if you're just running out the house to get groceries or run errands. I would definitely recommend wearing this. I wouldn't wear this for a date night or like brunch, only because I feel like this has a little more subtle, simple smell. And when I go to brunch, I'm trying to like smell luscious and rich. So that is all of my top five spring slash summer fragrances. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Comment down below if you have used any of these fragrances and let me know which one is your favorite. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you won't miss another video. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.